I've taken March Madness back after Reese took over yesterday, and it's time to get balls deep in these challenges. I've got a list of 388 to get through before the end of the month, and they're not gonna do themselves. So what the hell are we standing around in front of my player own house door for? Let's get into them. There is superstitious writings on the wall. Another day of March Madness, another day of EVscape, losing a clip. But we have Making Excuses with 10 mil donated, and he wants me to complete any raid solo with zero run energy. Of course, there's no way to keep my run energy at zero, so I need to leave my run off the entire time. Walking only. These legs are painted on. Right, let's kick it off with Barber. Wait, I'm gonna have to stay really close here. Dude, this is so slow. Oh! Okay, I gotta watch out for those volatiles. This is so fucked. I'm not even on thralls, bro. I'm on the wrong spell book. Oh shit, I don't know if I'm gonna make this. Oh my God. Oh, the pathing, immaculate. Man's on the ground. And the long walk back begins. All right, monkey room, not bad, not bad. At least I've already got my walk on for red Xing Barber. Gonna need to throw a blow pipe spec in here at some point. Surely? <laughs> no way does it a boulder skip. With no run energy. And again, we are here skipping, baby. All right, the big monkey down without a hitch. Easy. Oh, I just realized how AIDS the croc puzzle's gonna be. All right, Kefri, no run. I'm not even gonna bother with these. All right, down goes the scarab boss. Now this one's gonna be a little tough because normally I'll just butterfly this bitch, but I'm not gonna be able to butterfly this bitch this time because I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking, you freaking jerk off, you freaking dairy bag. Sorry, I apologize to anyone from New York. That was my bad. That one's my bad. Hey, I'm from the Daisy. Why don't you come on down to Tony's Pizza? Let's go. This is gonna suck. Shit. Oh no. 13. All right, we're gonna finesse this somehow. Okay, we start here. Shit, shit. Okay, that was good. Okay, that's a hundred. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, no, no. For fuck's sake, man. I'm gonna go get a whole nother one, bro. Dude. All right, we've done it. We've done it. We're out, we're out, we're out. Oh, that was tough. That was tough. Oh, shit. Forgot about this. Oh my god, no 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 no, this is bad, this is bad, this is terrible. Oh this couldn't this could not be any worse. Gotta tank this, gotta tank this, gotta tank this. Oh holy fuck. Damn, that was close, dude. No, another one of these. No 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 no. I can barely deal with the first one. Okay, we've made it to the Wardens. Wait, why am I 50 hit points? Ah. Uh, all right, hopefully we can get these skulls in time. I'm worried about the last phase. <laughs> I'm doing this shit in slow motion, bro. <laughs> Just crazy. <laughs> Ooh. 
All right, there it is. That is the, the walk only raid. And it feels only fitting to walk up to the chest. Da -dum. Da -dum. And just like that, I want to... Yo! It's pretty good. What's inside the cache of runes? 2,275 death runes. Oh my god, this... <laughs> you really thought I actually guessed that in the moment, didn't you? I got you. Yo, Dr. Horsnall coming in with a 50 Emma. 50 mil. All right. Let's have a sniff, mate. What's the challenge? Now, Dr. Horsnock here was in the kick chat and he let me know his challenge is to do the fight caves melee only with no prayer restoration. So essentially, it's like no time for a drink, one of the Grandmaster combat achievements, except I have to use melee and I can lose a couple of prayer points here and there. I just can't restore them. Let's go! Come on! That was actually a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. That was actually a lot tougher. I won't lie, I won't lie. Not bad, not bad. Yo, 10 mil for Potato McGay. What's he saying this time? Do three gnome restaurant deliveries with no wiki or guide. Okay. Once again, guys, there's no difference between one and three, all right? So we're going to get as many challenges as we can done. I'm just going to do one gnome delivery service without a wiki or guide. I've never done gnome delivery before. I'm not a collection logger. I don't know how to make gnome food, but my dad was a chef for 18 years. So surely that counts for something. All right, so we have been challenged by Potato Butt Gay to do a gnome delivery with no guide and no grand exchange. I, I think you speak to this guy to get started. Have a chat with my son, Lofty Jr. Okay, get job. Here we go. God Vermeldo wants some toad crunchies. God Vermeldo, make some toad crunchies. Wait, can I just buy these? They're pre-made. How the hell do you bake? Oh, shit. I should have got the... Do you have a cookbook? There's got to be a cookbook, right? Okay, well, they're definitely this biscuit tin. I need some money. I need some money. Toad crunchies. I'm assuming I'm gonna need some toad. Gotta be toad legs. Where the hell? Give me a cookbook, bro. All right, we're gonna get the crunchy tray. What's in the kitchen cabinet? Is it a cookbook? Please tell me it's a cookbook. Please tell me it's a cookbook. Nothing. Wait, a batter tin? No, a knife. I gotta go pick up some toad legs. I need the cookbook, bro. Where's the gnome cookbook? All right, let's get some toad legs and then go back there. And I gotta find out where the hell God, whatever the f his name is. Swamp toad. Let's get two just in case. We got the legs. Can I use the legs on the tin? Nothing interesting happens. Where's the f***ing cookbook, dude? Cocktail shaker? Groceries? No, I need the cookbook, bro. Where's the cookbook? Oh my God. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to learn how to cook this shit, dude? Ah, help me. Where's the cookbook? Who do I talk to? Someone teach me how to cook this shit, please. I'm running around like a headless chook right now, bro. Put him in the gnome cooker. You can't cook that. Put that in here. You can't cook that. What do I need, dude? Gian Do? Do? <gasps> Nothing interesting happens. I've cooked the half-baked crunchy with the toad's legs. Try preparing the crunchies rather than adding the ingredients. Oh, shit, here we go. Toad legs times two in a gnome spice. Oh my God, we've done it. Toad crunchies. Created. Cook them. Unfinished crunchy. What goes on top? 
Leaves? Lime? Leaves. It's got to be leaves. Yes! All right. Now, where do I got to go? Guard Vermeldo. Who the fuck is Guard Vermeldo, bro? Where the hell is Guard Vermeldo? Is he Guard Vermeldo? Are you Guard Vermeldo? Are you Guard... Help me, bro. Where the hell is Guard Vermeldo? Where is he? It's over. Is this guy... Surely this guy tells me where the fucking dude is, right? Surely Gian Jr. tells me where the guy is. Okay. Let's get another one. Damn when wants some worm crunchies. Damn when likes to have a drink with the gnome ball fans after the match. Oh. Okay. Now let's go find this guy. He likes to have a drink with the gnome ball fans after the game. Is there a pub near the gnome ball? There is, right there. I forgot the guy's name. Darwin? Darwin. Damn when. Here you go, beast. Let's go. All right. Completed. Iowa Snow. What are we saying, beast? Three mil. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How many individual bosses can you, wieldy bosses can you kill with one inventory? Okay, now I gotta be honest guys, I got this challenge in the tens of times, probably 25 times that I got this challenge. Uh, so I don't have everyone's name written down that gave me this challenge. Iowa Snow was the first person to give me this challenge. How many wildy bosses can I kill in one inventory? Or alternative ways of giving me the challenge of kill every wilderness boss in one inventory without banking. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do every single boss, one invent, no banking. Maybe I should grab a third stamina version. I should hit here, hit here, go up to Scorpia, Chaos Alley, come back down, do the big three, and then end up at Ferox. That's gonna be a three stam job, I reckon. I'm gonna grab a third. My risk, 500k. All right. That is outrageous that I can only be risking 500k right now. That's actually outrageous. All right, Crazy Ark is down. I want to put my PK Skull Prevention on because I don't want to end up like one of those guys that loses all their items, you know? Now, we could run past the Chaos Altar here and get some prayer back, but I only use nine prayer points, so... Holy shit, this goes down quick. What the hell? What do we get? Anchovy pizzas. All right. Now, we're going to get this to... I think we're going Scorpion next, all right? Yeah, so we'll get this to 50s. I see the Chaos Alley, I'll kill it. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna safe spot this because it'll use up too much supplies. Damn, all right, maybe I'll just 1v1 this bitch. Come on, you big bitch. There we go. Any food? Yes, I knew there'd be food. Oh, we're just gaming. And now I can just Blood Barrage. Ah! Why did I respawn so quick, bro? I can just Blood Barrage Scorpio. <gasps> I didn't bring an anti-poison. Nice. All right, Scorpio down. Ruin Kite Shield. Damn. That's gonna hurt. Oh. Only a five? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That was so lucky. That was not... That was so unlucky, I would say. If anything, I would go as far as to say it was probably a bit unlucky. Round two, baby. Dude, I can learn from my mistakes and bring an anti-poison. All right, there's Callisto down. So we've got a full inventory of food. Don't want that 50k. I want the brew, bro. Come on. All right, next up, we're going to go Venonatus. All right. I haven't done much Venonatus in my time, so wish me luck. There we go. What do we get? Blood runes. Ugh. Tevedion. Restores are uh, running a little slim, I can't lie. Restores are running a little slim. Now, this should be zero damage. Shouldn't take any damage from Vedion. Oh, it's already in its second fa- Oh, it's nearly dead. Well, let's just kill it and wait for the respawn. Fine, I'll deal with you myself. You're not doing a very good job of it, beast. I can't lie to you. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. What do we get? Rune pickaxe. I'm taking those. All right. And now it's the little three. I think that's it. I think that's it on the bosses. I think we're done. All right, one more hit. Spindle down. Let's get out of here. Go get ourselves some... Oh, rune pickaxe. Add that to the collection. Uh, let's go to Arteo, and then we run across to Calvarion, and I believe that's every wilderness boss in one inventory. Oh, no, I just jacked this guy's world like that. That is jokes, bro. I literally hopped in as it spawned and stole the kill. What are the odds? There we go. Audio down and just one boss remains. Oh, dark crabs. Let me take those. We've got the inventory space. Carolanga teleport. You're telling me this teleport made Carol angry. All right. 
Good luck to us. Let's get it. <laughs> Hop this world. Vag mace. What did he say about my vag? GG, Calvarion. And that's the all boss wilderness challenge. One inventory. Let's go. Yo, 15 M's. Thank you, beast. Starting in Lumbridge with nothing, die as fast as possible. Must be a PVM death. Okay, okay. Now, this one is definitely Gillenor Games inspired. I actually did this challenge in season two of Gillenor Games, and this is how I ended up getting eliminated. But starting in Lumbridge, die as fast as possible, must be a PVM death. Very interesting challenge. All right, we've been challenged by Huge Dog TD, 25 mil. And he says, starting in Lumbridge, die as fast as possible. It must be a PVM death. All right. So we are at 99 hit points, and we're going to die as quick as possible, starting in Lumbridge to a PVM death. Thank you, Mum's bank card. No challenge? Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, mate. I have an idea. I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's get the timer up. Stopwatch. Three, two, one, go. All right, I'm going to run down this trapdoor, and I'm going to go to um, underground. I'm going to go into the like mines here. And I'm gonna get damaged all the way down to one hit point, and then I'm gonna run up to Draenor Manor and get hit by a tree. That's the plan. I would just do this, but it doesn't count as a PVM death. Come on, start eating me, bro. Oh, perfect timing. No, 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 damn it. All right, let's run it back. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Three, two, one, go. All right, made it to two hit points. That's close enough. That's close enough. All right, let's run up to Draenor now. Wait, a dead tree's not an NPC. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to the ham hideout. Attack the ham guard. Kill me. Kill me! Kill me! Come on! Oh my god. Hit! Come on! Does this thing have one attack? This can't be real. My god. That was ridiculous. All right, that one took three minutes, 48 seconds. I think there's a better way. I think there's a better way. Three, two, one, go. All right, we're going straight to the Leviathan. Straight to the Leviathan. 35 seconds to get to the Wizard's Tower. Downstairs, open the door, enter the portal. One minute. This is way quicker than the last one. One minute 17. We're about to board the boat. One minute 30 to the Leviathan. Now let's just hope it kills me quick. Oh, it just melee me at 47. There we go. Dead. One minute 50. Now that's quick. Now this one is a little bit, I don't know if it's going to be good. We're gonna have to see. Three, two, one, go. The plan is to go to the black dragon in Zanaris. But I need a raw chicken. Had the chicken pre-prepped outside the cage. 45 seconds on the clock. The chicken outside the cage might have unironically saved this run. Some really good chicken RNG, man. Run energy might be an issue here. One minute 15 on the clock. Zanaris at 1.30. Oh, it's not looking good, Brav. Oh, there's the chicken. It's right there. Get inside. Wait, 1.40? Fire breath me. Bang. Another one. Another fire breath. Come on. No. A three. Come on. Come on. One more. Big hit. A 40. One more. No. Oh my God. A zero. That was 158 right there. Oh my God. It was a 202, dude. We lost to RNG. We lost to RNG, man. That would have been quicker than the Leviathan. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever wanted to know how to die as quick as possible, starting in Lumbridge, just run your ass to the Leviathan. Or if you just happen to have a raw chicken handy already, you can head over to Zanaris. But that is going to wrap it up for day number 12 here in March Madness. God, we're slowly creeping up on halfway through the month. Time is absolutely flying. We're going to be giving away this 20 billion GP before you know it. The stack has been stuck at 20 bill for the last few days because I'm pre-editing these videos. It's currently actually the 10th and I'm editing the video for the 12th. Just allows me to stay a little bit ahead of time. But if you want to catch up on real time, head over to the stream kick.com forward slash evscape. I'm going to be live four hours after this video goes up. I won't actually be live after this video goes up, but I will be live tomorrow. You guys can come on down, give me a donation, give me a challenge, say g'day. Don't forget guys to be eligible for the giveaway. You need to be subscribed to the channel and join the Discord down below, link in the description. Thank you guys so much for this insane support here on March Madness. Love you guys. Catch you guys in the next one very soon.
Take it easy. Very superstitious. Right in the-